Hi Lunar, hope you're learning well. So today topic we will talk about how to migrate data from cloud storage to the BigQuery. This is one of the important uh, migration. If you have a data onto the cloud storage, you know that we have discussed about the cloud storage. So if you have on-premise data and you want to migrate your project onto the Google Cloud, so first thing we have to make this data centralized. So first prefer we talk about, uh, you know, that cloud storage. We have discussed in the data lake concept this part also. Okay, so we have this practical part. Okay, we'll do the practical. First, we'll go to the your BigQuery. Okay, so in the BigQuery, uh, you can see uh, already have a cloud. Okay, first thing you have to create a one bucket, and in that bucket you have to put the data. So already you can see on the machine uh, on my screen there's a one bucket I have already created, and uh, in that bucket I have a one. Uh, data I have put that is a file format is a CSV file format you can take uh, other file format also but again uh, BigQuery is all about structured data so your data you can take it uh, in JSON in a file uh, CSV right so it's more into structured format okay now the second thing I will go to the BigQuery part you can see the bucket is ready and the, in that bucket I have already deployed uh, dumper one CSV file and that data we will migrate onto BigQuery. So first things we have to create a one table and in that table uh, in the BigQuery then we will load the data in a table through the cloud storage. So here we have, so let's go to the BigQuery. Okay, so here we have a BigQuery and uh, we'll learn. So first thing you can see that this is what uh, uh, three dot you have to click on to this. So first thing before you know that uh, if you work on uh, any MySQL or Oracle database so before creating the table you have to create a database here we have the same process but uh, we call that data set okay so when you click onto this three dot you have a, a, a option to click uh, data set right and I will give the name of my data set okay so I given this uh, robotic DB all right any uh, user defined logical name you can write it and I can select uh, which reason I can put under the multiple reason and uh, that is what a data set is created okay now if you see here a data set is coming here correct all right so the data set is created now inside this data set I want to create a table and uh, again you click onto the three dot and you see here create table option right you can open in a new tab I want to go and click on to the create table and now in this create table you have multiple options so remember that our objective okay so when I click on to create a table you see that uh, uh, you have a uh, empty table you have multiple options so in this option it say that uh, you want to get the data right so where you want to import the data you have option like a Google Cloud storage you have upload uh, from the drive from Google Big Table, Amazon S3, there's all the options you have. So we will go with our uh, agenda. We are looking for to create a table and we want to get the data, uh, load data in the table through the cloud storage. So I've selected the cloud storage here and then I will select. Now the second option is that you see automatically it's see that okay if you want to uh, get the data in your table from the cloud so uh, you have to select the bucket okay so now you can click onto the browser and you have to select the bucket you remember that you have to create a bucket before and get the data I have already done in my I will show you again so this is what my bucket in my tab and my bucket name is here it's Provadic 26 and uh, um, <clears throat> you can see when I click onto the browser it is reflecting so it will automatically reflect if it is not there then it will not reflect so you have to make sure that yes you have to uh, create the bucket and Put the data in the bucket also so i will select this and you see that data is there so i will select this data and the moment you select the file inside the bucket you will get this select option will get enabled and now you have a select. so you can see on my uh, file okay so i want to create a, a table in a bucket sorry in a big query and i want to load the data in my table from the cloud storage what i have selected and this is the file i want to get into my table okay so the file format you have to select you have multiple format csv json so these are the file format you have json avro procket orc cloud storage iberg so uh, uh, you can see my file format is a csv so i have uh, put the data file format uh, csv okay and uh, i will skip something partitioning and all i guess uh, let's go with the simple flow uh, okay so i will skip this part right now 
data set you see that the project okay inside this project uh, name is coming right you will be your project will be the different name so the project name is coming if you want to change the project also you can change it and inside this project uh, which data set do you want uh, to create this table so I have already created and it is the, it is reflecting so I put it and now you can give the table name so a logical name user defined let's say I give it uh, the table and y s t right uh, just uh, user defined and I want to go with the different type of table so I will go with the native table okay and now this is important that is called schema so uh, usually you see that uh, a table having a CSV file is have a dip two different it's a with header without header so the with header file means the first row is nothing it's a column okay so if you already define the column in your file so you can select auto detect we got it you select auto detect hope you understand if your CSV file having a uh, header header means your first row of the file the first row of the file is the column name so means that file is header file and if that file is header then you select the auto detect so it will treat the first row of your file as a schema okay if you do not have the schema then you have to define manually that option also you have you can see that option you can select this uh, without schema okay although my file is a CSV file with header so I have select auto detect okay and let me go down okay I, I will skip this partition and all the thing then let's create a table now let me go there and you see that uh, this is a project this is the data set inside the desert this is the table I have created that is the NYSC and when you click you see that the okay okay I guess uh, my file was uh, not having a schema I guess all right I'm, that's that's completely okay no problem so you see that I have selected the schema so it taken the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 logical name was there so might be my file which I have selected it was not having the schema that my bad but nothing to worry that is a complete uh, it's completely okay if your file is having the schema let's say first uh, is a name mail ID mobile number right so th all the column will reflect in this here okay although my for uh, although my file is not having the schema but I have selected the auto detect so it take the sequence 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and also you see that uh, it is maintaining the type of my data format so that's also good uh, understanding right by mistake if you uh, selected the file which uh, you assume that it's a header but it is not does not have header then how it will show your schema that's completely okay but I make sure that when you're using a file which with a schema all the column name will be reflecting here okay and let's go to the details part okay now you see that details part here you have the table ID you have you see that a unique table ID has been given to you you can copy it uh, you have a create modified uh, table uh, expiration and the data center which I have put it it is in right now in US uh, right rolling and uh, you see that it's storage info on the screen the total number of records I'm having 3598 so yes the table which I have uh, created and the file which I have taken from the cloud storage um, I mean this cloud storage the file I have loaded from here the file records total number of records what is that it is having uh, uh, 3598 okay and the file size and everything is coming here okay and if you want to see the preview of the table if you want to see the pre table right it's a uh, table record is coming here right a very simple process right all right so here uh, the interesting part is uh, the column names are not dropping and I am very much sure now that you understand why this column name is not coming what the mistake I have done and the reason why the column name is not reflecting but yes the order wise the sequence is coming that is completely fine okay and uh, yeah so hope you learn well and uh, this is all about uh, how to create a table and uh, how to migrate data from cloud storage to BigQuery. So thank you. Do more practical. And that's all for today's session. Hey, don't forget to download our app for access to free courses and interactive quizzes. Stay connected with us on social media for updates and free content. See you next time. Happy learning.